An edge E of a connected graph G is a bridge if G minus that edge E is disconnected. In today's Wrath of Math lesson, we'll be talking a bit about bridges in graph theory. Most of you are probably familiar with the idea of a cut vertex. A cut vertex is a vertex that when deleted, disconnects its graph. For example, if we look at this set of vertices and edges as a graph, the vertex in the middle is a cut vertex. If we delete that vertex, by definition we also have to delete its incident edges, and we're left with a disconnected graph. So the idea of a bridge is sort of analogous to cut vertices, except with edges. Now let's quickly read through this here. This is the definition of a bridge for a disconnected graph. An edge E of a disconnected graph G is a bridge if E is a bridge of one of G's components. The components of a disconnected graph are by definition connected, so that just brings us back to the standard definition of uh, bridges in connected graphs. So then we can just say that an edge of a graph is a bridge if deleting it disconnects any of the graph's components. Here's another simple way to think about bridges. Suppose that G is a graph. Connected, disconnected, doesn't matter. Just an arbitrary graph. And let's say that E is one of the edges of G. So E is an element of the edge set of G. We sometimes write k of g to denote the number of components in the graph. So if g is connected, for example, then k of g is equal to 1. Then an edge e of the graph g is a bridge of g if the number of components in g, which I already wrote, so I don't have to write that again, the number of components in g is equal to the number of components in g minus e minus 1. In other words, a bridge of a graph is an edge that when deleted splits its component into two components. So if E is a bridge of G, then the graph G will have one fewer components than the graph G minus E. Or of course, we could add one to both sides and think of it slightly differently, but in an equivalent way. The E is a bridge of the graph G if the number of components in G minus E is one more than the number of components in G. And again, this is an accurate characterization of bridges for both connected and disconnected graphs. For example, we might have a disconnected graph that in structure looks like this. The circles I've drawn are not vertices. These are just sort of abstract components of a graph. So this disconnected graph has two components. But we see that this component has a bridge, this edge here. If we delete that edge, we're now looking at a graph with three components. So if you delete a bridge from a graph, the resulting graph will have one more component than the original graph. Which you might notice is different from cut vertices. For example, it's possible that with a cut vertex, we could go from having one component, and then we could delete that cut vertex, and now all of a sudden have three components. And let me know if you'd like to see a lesson proving that result, that if a bridge is deleted from a graph, the resulting graph will have one, exactly one, additional component. But we will not prove that in today's lesson. Let's quickly check out some examples on a more well-defined graph. So here we've got a graph, clearly connected, vertices labeled V1 up through V10, it looks like, up through V10. And perhaps you can already see one or two bridges in this graph. Let's call it G. And let's say that the edge E is equal to V6, V7. So that's this edge right here. Clearly, this edge is a bridge. If we delete it, we are then looking at the graph G minus E, which is disconnected. So deleting the edge E disconnected the graph. We went from having one component to now having two components. There's a bridge in this graph as well. We could call it E prime. This is the edge joining V3 and V2. That's this edge here. If we delete that edge, we disconnect the component that it belongs to, therefore, E prime is a bridge of this disconnected graph. And of course, the graph we're now looking at is G minus E minus that second bridge E prime. Heck, we could even delete another bridge if we wanted to. Let's call it E double prime, the edge joining V1 and V2. This edge here, that is another bridge. If we delete that, 
that disconnects the component it belongs to. Then we're looking at g minus e minus e prime minus e double prime. Or a more sleek way to write that is to put those deleted edges in a set, e, e prime, e double prime, and then we can just write the graph as g minus this set of edges. And remember how once we deleted our first bridge, we went from one component to two components. Then we deleted our second bridge, E prime, and we went from two components to three components. Then we deleted another bridge, E double prime, and again that gave us one additional component. Now we've got a graph with four components. Now let me just redraw the edges that we deleted in this green color to make one last point. There is a theorem that very simply characterizes whether or not an edge is a bridge. What do you notice about the edges in these two parts of the graph that is not true about the edges that ended up being bridges? The key is that these edges are parts of cycles, and that suggests the theorem. An edge of a graph is a bridge if and only if it does not lie on a cycle of the graph. So if an edge does not lie on a cycle, then deleting it will disconnect its component. And that should seem pretty reasonable. For example, look at this component here. Clearly there exists a path from V3 to V5. We could go from V3 to V4, then to V5. If we delete one of these edges, say we delete V4, V5, well no problem, it's still connected. We can just go around the other side of the cycle, from V3 to V6 to V5. But now that we've deleted that edge, none of these remaining edges lie on a cycle, and so they are all bridges. Deleting any of them will disconnect the component. So we will prove that characterization of bridges perhaps in the very next lesson, but it's a pretty straightforward proof, so definitely give it a swing yourself. In the lesson, we're going to prove the contrapositive of each direction of the statement, so I recommend trying that, and I think it follows pretty easily. But if you get stuck, no worries, I'll leave a link to that lesson in the description once it comes out. One more time, let's state the definition of bridge in general for any graph connected or otherwise. An edge E of a graph G is a bridge if deleting it disconnects any of G's components. So I hope this video helped you understand what bridges of graphs are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. Um...